Welcome in to the Recap Rush Hour. It is Thursday. It is the 2nd of February. I'm David Kaplan. Hope you're having a great day. It's brought to you by ChevyDriveChicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. A lot of news. Let's get right into it. The February 9 NBA trade deadline is one week away. And today, Alex Caruso said to the assembled media, hey, there's a bunch of rumors about you out there, Alex. What do you think? Quote, I fully expect to be here. I went back to some of my old cronies when I was coaching or scouting, and some of those guys are still working in the league today, and I asked them what they've heard. They said the Bulls want a ton. If they trade Alex Crusoe, they have told people they want two first-round picks. Two. Good luck with that. I don't think it's going to happen, so he probably does not get moved. They've gotten calls on Iota Sumu, Kobe White, Andre Drummond. But right now, unless the Bulls make a move to get themselves a point guard, there is some rumors about uh, Fred Van Vliet, who grew up in Rockford, uh, coming back to Chicago to play in a trade. I don't know how much they're going to do. They do need to get a point guard because I don't think Lonzo Ball is returning at all this season. And who knows if he'll ever play again. Uh, if his knee hasn't responded after two operations, I don't know what to tell everybody. So we'll see what they end up doing. If they do anything, I would think it would be to help at the point guard position, somebody who can make jump shots. Football, Robert Kraft said today he wants Tom Brady to sign a one-day contract and retire as a Patriot. No response from Brady yet. Aaron Rodgers on the tee in a celebrity golf tournament today. The announcer says, next up, Aaron Rodgers. Anything to say, Aaron? Yeah, I'm not going to San Francisco. That was his response, so... Does that mean he's going to keep playing? He's got $50 million guaranteed dollars next season. Damn right he's going to keep playing. We'll see where he is. And finally, the Illinois basketball fan group of students known as the Orange Crush, they're amazing. I have watched these guys when I've been there scouting, broadcasting over the years. The Orange Crush is awesome. And every year they go on a road trip to a game in the Big Ten Conference. Well, this year they picked Iowa. Now, a few years ago, they picked Northwestern. They got the tickets. And see, most of the opposing schools don't want the fan base from the other schools, especially one as good as the Orange Crush is. I love these dudes. They came in in all purple, and they were heckling the Illinois players in the warm-ups and singing along with the Northwestern fight song. And then, boom, off go the shirts, and they got orange. And they were awesome all night long. I give those guys a lot of credit. Well, this year, they said they were from the Boys and Girls Club, and they were bringing a group to the Illinois-Iowa game. They got the tickets. Iowa finds out that it's the student group. They canceled the tickets this week. So the Orange Crush is upset, so it's not in the spirit of competition. And then one of their guys was quoted. I just read it. Well, we knew we were going to get caught at some point. You got caught. So you got the upper hand. You got the tickets. Iowa counters to cancel the tickets. Your move, Orange Crush. You're better than that. Don't just stay home. Your move. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you watching. Bulls and Hornets tonight. I'll have a Bulls recap as soon as that game goes final. Have a great rest of your night. Take that.